Back in the early days, there were many friends. Friends that enjoyed being around each other. A strong bond with many others around each other. For years, everything went on and off for many. Breakups, rebuilding trust, taking the time to be there for one another, etc. Nearly a year ago, a crazy demon named Chives the Great, including his small right-hand man, Krabby, attempted to depopulate the human race, Chives' own species, and other creatures. He murdered innocent people to try to prove a point, but was not the wisest. He even told everyone that if any female or child attempts to stop Chives when he's putting the bad men in jail, will be sentenced to death on the dot. No exceptions, no buts, no ifs, no takebacks, just straight up execution without a word. As he was stopped, King wanted to talk to Ari in secret about something. He confessed his true feelings to her, explaining how he truly felt about her. She responded with, You're really sweet, King, and I'm very glad you told me. I need some time to think about it though. I'm not fully ready to do relationships again at the moment. Is it okay that you can give me time? They both smile together and go out to continue their chatter in other areas. Six months later, things have changed. The relationship between the two have dropped over time. Ari has chosen her path to be with a new man naturally. Both her and King talked about what's needed to be said and talked about. The both are still best friends, but no longer see each other as future loved ones. She sailed back to her country with her new or soon to be new man of her life. King did say he's happy for the two to find interest in each other. But he hid the fact that his health was secretly declining and his mind started to, 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 to